Hi, my name is Anna. I'm currently working in the physics department at the University of Oxford on my PhD. So that means I do research so that the university eventually can give me the fancy title of Dr. Anna. Um, I work on solar cells, so that's um, a technology that can be used to generate energy without having to burn coal or oil and gas and so on, so it could make our future a lot more sustainable and help us prevent climate change. And in my spare time, I mostly hang out with friends, uh, read books, go to the gym, go traveling, and yeah. Okay. What advice would you now give your 12-year-old self? Um, I think that's a really good question. I think my 12-year-old self was already very curious about a lot of things, and I would advise my 12-year-old self to try out everything I possibly can. There's so many opportunities that don't even have to cost money, like volunteering uh, workshops that you can take part in to learn how to program, to get an exposure to science and all sorts of other things, like science and non-science topics. But I would tell my 12-year-old self to just be brave, try out new things, and don't be afraid of any challenges that the world might throw at you. Okay. Who is your hero? Um, I think one of my biggest heroes, multiple, are my grandparents. So they were kids when the Second World War was happening in Germany. I'm originally from Germany. So when they grew up, they had pretty much nothing left um, that, you know, their parents couldn't support them to go to university and they, they weren't given very much. And from that, they managed to work really hard and build up their own businesses and become successful people throughout the rest of their lives. And I really admire them for their determination and work ethic and just in general positivity about life and all the advice that they can give me if I'm having a breakdown because I'm sad about something and they tell me it's always going to be okay. What's your favorite invention? Um, Probably for my personal life, I like contact lenses and I find it fascinating that, you know, I can just put things into my eyes and see without glasses, but I also am biased and I think solar cells are amazing because you can just put them on a roof and they can use, um, you know, the sunlight to generate electricity and just how people came up with the concept of how they work and just combining the right, ki right kinds of materials to uh, generate power from that is very, very fascinating. Describe yourself in three words. Um, friendly, excited, and curious, I think I would say. Yeah, that's interesting. Last question. Where do you see yourself in five years' time? Well, hopefully in five years I will have finished my PhD and I'll be called doctor. And then I would probably like to continue working in research and maybe try to become a professor at some point. But even if I change my mind, I just want to live in a cool place close to my friends and family and work on interesting problems. So, yeah, it's a bit of a daunting question when you don't really know what's coming at you. But that's one of the things that I enjoy about science because you have such a flexibility in terms of where you want to work, who you want to work with, um, what kind of job you want to do. You don't necessarily have to stay in science after you study it. You can do all sorts of jobs. And the skill set that you're going to acquire studying science is so incredibly unique. So I love doing science, and I think more girls should do it. So yeah, why not? <laughs>